I work in the miniature realm um, primarily because I really like to make things. I'm a maker of things, a very hands uh, oriented sort of person. I was a painter. I still do a little bit of painting, but I've been primarily creating three dimensional objects. I tend to come up with an idea, sketch it out to work just roughly, quickly, uh, sketch out some ideas in my sketchbook just to work out some of the formal elements. Where's the door going to go? Um, what are some of the positions of some of the prop elements, etc.? Um, the poetry magic, the feel of the work all comes later. I really try uh, just initially to get the idea on paper as quickly as possible and then get to the piece before, let's say, the, the energy and enthusiasm runs away. Uh, I've also, with regard to scale, I like to play with scale. Uh, I don't, for instance, with my work, I don't use a scale rule um, to make sure that the door knob is, let's say, exactly uh, the right size, I, or, or the, the molding, etc. Like the elements have to feel correct to me. I'm not interested that they be architecturally perfect. I'm not trying to create uh, a, like a historical scenario. I'm trying to create a poetic, um, textural, um, miniature world. When I'm when I'm creating these little environments, I'm trying to create a space that's compelling and believable, and I, I wish for there to be um, a sense of of disbelief, as they say, you know, in theater and television and whatnot movies. I want to suspend disbelief, if just for a fraction, where you lose yourself in these little worlds and you're compelled by them, and you can actually enter them, and you allow yourself um, to interact with the piece in a way that might be something you could possibly you couldn't possibly do you couldn't possibly maybe walk into an environment like this you know and have the same sense of because of the scale is minute and precious if you will uh, it it lends you a different perspective than you would get into walking into a room that I've actually been barged into